A warm welcome to St George's Anglican Church Paris for this service of morning prayer on Monday the 28th of September. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 44. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger for ever. He has not but dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as the flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandment to do them. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and for ever. Amen. We have heard with our ears, O God, our forebears have told us all that you did in their days in time of old, how with your hand you drove out nations and planted us in, and broke the power of peoples and set us free. For not by their own sword did our ancestors take the land, nor did their own arm save them, but your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you were gracious to them. You are my King and my God, who commanded salvation for Jacob, Through you we drove back our adversaries, through your name we trod down our foes. For I did not trust in my bow, it was not my own sword that saved me. It was you that saved us from our enemies and put our adversaries to shame. We gloried in God all the day long and were ever praising your name. But now you have rejected us and brought us to shame and go not out with our armies. You have made us turn our backs on our enemies and our enemies have despoiled us. You have made us like sheep to be slaughtered and have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for a pittance and have made no profit on their sale. You have made us the taunt of our neighbours, the scorn and derision of those that are round about us. You have made us a byword among the nations and among the peoples they wag their heads. My confusion is daily before me and shame has covered my face at the taunts of the slanderer and reviler at the sight of the enemy and avenger. All this has come upon us, though we have not forgotten you, and have not played false to your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back, nor our steps gone out of your way. Yet you have crushed us in the haunt of jackals, and covered us with the shadow of death. If we have forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to any strange God, will not God search it out, for he knows the secrets of the heart? But for your sake we are killed all the day long, and are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Rise up. Why sleep, O Lord? Awake and do not reject us for ever. Why do you hide your face and forget our grief and depression? Our soul is bowed down to the dust, our belly cleaves to the earth. Rise up, O Lord, to help us and redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. In the darkness of unknowing, when your love seems absent, draw near to us, O God, in Christ forsaken, in Christ risen, our Redeemer and Lord. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my salvation, I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. 
all the earth, shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, uh, chapter 19, beginning to read at verse 8. He entered the synagogue and for three months spoke out boldly and argued persuasively about the kingdom of God. When some stubbornly refused to believe and spoke evil of the way before the congregation, he left them, taking the disciples with him, and argued daily in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. This continued for two years, so that all the residents of Asia, both Jews and Greeks, heard the word of the Lord. God did extraordinary miracles through Paul, so that when the handkerchiefs or aprons that had touched his skin were brought to the sick, their diseases left them and the evil spirits came out of them. Then some itinerant Jewish exorcists tried to use the name of the Lord Jesus over those who had evil spirits, saying, I adjure you by the Jesus whom Paul proclaims. Seven sons of a Jewish high priest named Sceva were doing this, but the evil spirit said to them in reply, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are you? Then the man with the evil spirit leapt on them, mastered them all, and so overpowered them that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. When this became known to all residents of Ephesus, both Jews and Greeks, everyone was awestruck, and the name of the Lord Jesus was praised. Also, many of those who became believers confessed and disclosed their practices. A number of those who practiced magic collected their books and burnt them publicly. When the value of these books was calculated, it was found to come to 50,000 silver coins. So the word of the Lord grew mightily and prevailed. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the... Uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. You have set us free to worship you without fear holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our, the, of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into, into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. So we pray to now for the day and its tasks, for the world and its needs, and for the Church and her life. Lord our God, as with all creation we offer you the life of this new day, give us grace to love and serve you to the praise of Jesus Christ our Lord. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>